When it comes to training for Creed, or any movie for that matter, Michael B. Jordan has just one rule. Train until you drop, because that's when you've earned it. Today, I'm going to tell you Michael's training secrets for the Creed franchise, and it all starts with a fighter's mindset. You don't get a Greek god physique if you're not clear about your goals. Training for anything is going to be hard. It's supposed to be hard, because our bodies are hardwired to save energy whenever possible, and Michael had to up his game if he was ever going to get in shape for the Creed series. Vogue did a video interview with him back in 2017, where the guy asked him 73 questions about his life and career. There's one question where he asked how the training for Creed had been, and Michael revealed that it was the hardest thing he's ever had to do physically to get in shape for a role. What was it like training for Creed? Intense. Hardest thing I ever had to do, physically anyway. If you're into fitness as much as I am, then you'll understand exactly what he meant when he said that. It takes years of discipline, hard work, and hitting the gym four to six times a week to get a physique worthy of an Instagram post. And some days you're so drained that you think, oh, it's okay to take a day off. I'll just go tomorrow. I'll skip a day in my workout regime. But then you still get up and hit the gym because that's the fighter's mindset. That's what kept Michael going too. His dad used to tell him that you have to be serious about something even if it's something as simple as getting up early in the morning. And that's the belief that keeps him on his toes. That's what keeps him training hard day after day, week after week, until it's time to film the scenes for the movie. Because once you've got the mindset, it's time to put in the work. Michael had his work cut out for him in the first movie. This was back in like mid-2013, when he first found out that he was going to be playing Adonis in the Rocky spinoff. I can't imagine how intimidating it must have been to shoulder that kind of responsibility. He He's not only had to play the part of a conditioned boxer, he also had to live up to everyone's expectations and even exceed them. And he did. The moment he showed off his bulging biceps and delts, everyone knew that he'd do the role justice. But training for the first Creed movie was a lot different from training for the second and third. For one thing, he hired celebrity trainer Corey Calliat. The pair met on the set of Fantastic Four back in 2014 and immediately hit it off. So if you're wondering who helped sculpt the actor's physique into a Greek statue, it's that guy. And he's no joke. He was a bodybuilder for years and knows the kind of discipline and work ethic it takes to put on several pounds of lean muscle. And so, for the first movie, Michael actually started training a year and a half before filming even started. And it was tough. You know, I knew about this project about two, two and a half, three years ago, so I started training about a year and a half out from we actually, from actually, Did you do it like we actually started filming. Huh? There's an interview from BBC Radio 1 where he explained just how disciplined he had to be in order to be Creed fit. In his words, it was three workouts a day, six days a week, and lots of chicken, broccoli, and brown rice. Working out two to three times a day, six days a week for about a year and a half. And wow. then your body will change. It, wow. it, will, it, will, it will definitely change. About a year and a half of like, like literally, you know, brown rice, grilled chicken, broccoli, a gallon and a half of water a day. And hey, that's exactly what Hugh Jackman ate for his Wolverine movies. But I'll get back to his diet in a bit, because there's more to it than just chicken and broccoli. Anyway, it turned out that Jordan's training for the Creed 1 was a blessing in disguise. It helped him build the foundation he'd need to play Killmonger and Black Panther. And of course, Tom Clancy's Without Remorse, where he had to train with Navy SEALs so that he can learn the body language of a soldier. For that role, he he worked hand in hand with Buck Doyle, who served in the U.S. Marines for over 21 years. I got a chance to go down to Utah, train at his ranch. We were doing a fair bit of shooting. <laughs> Buck Doyle, he's become like a big brother to me. He served in the Marines, like my father. We had the time to train prior to production kicking off and is now a military technical consultant for big-budget movies and TV shows. Now, Doyle took care of Jordan's tactical skills and body language. He had to look and play the part of a Marine who survived three wars, and Corey had Michael covered in the looks department. The trainer had his training and diet down to a T. He'd move on from the whole chicken, rice, and broccoli nonsense and approach Michael's diet plan like a well-trained chef. He didn't just want the actor on a diet for a couple of weeks so he could shed some pounds. He wanted him to make better choices 
choices overall. You see, the fad diets you keep hearing about online are useless. Sure, they'll get your weight down as quickly as possible, but that's the unhealthy way of going about it. You won't just be losing fat, you'll be losing muscle alongside it, and you'll feel like crap after the diet's done. So he encouraged Jordan to make better choices with his diet and include more low-carb meals in his overall eating habits. That, coupled with low sodium, high water intake, and frequent workouts, led to an Adonis-like physique in no time. Well, the no time is a figure of speech. It still took months of conditioning and fine-tuning his diet and workout plan to get there. Rocky's taking some family time. But Duke's got me. His father taught my father everything he knows. Speed, D, that's how we go. Technique, speed. I'm confident he'll have me ready for this fight. Now, as for the Creed workouts themselves, they're pretty basic when you break them down. Jordan focused on three things, cardio and conditioning, weight training, and boxing training. The first one's simple. He wakes up every day and does 30 minutes to an hour of fasted cardio, which also helps with his conditioning. I know that cardio isn't a fun time for most people, mainly because it sucks and you want to die. But it isn't that bad. You just have to find something that feels good to you. Personally, I do jump rope for 30 minutes at the end of my workouts. I love syncing my movements with the beat of the songs I'm listening to. And Jordan prefers swimming because it's a full body workout, helps with his past injuries, and is just a great way to burn a lot of calories quickly. Or you could do what Henry Cavill does, wink wink. Anyway, next is weight training, and that's where Jordan prefers circuits. So pick three or more exercises of your choice and do them one by one for a set number of rounds. What Jordan does is a 10 to 1 circuit, which is where he'll do 10 reps with all the exercises, rest, then repeat the circuit with 9 reps, then 8, all the way to 1. And trust me, I've tried this, and you'll be dying for breath by the end. Oh, and there aren't any specific exercises you need to pick either. Do what you like. Push-ups, chin-ups, squats, rows, any number of exercises. For Jordan, it's bicep curls, shoulder presses, rows, medicine ball slams, and finally, battle ropes. Those last two are great for overall conditioning, especially the battle ropes. And finally, he'll hit the boxing ring around mid-afternoon or early evening for some one-on-one -on -one sparring sessions. And hey, if you're doing all this hard work, work six days a week, you deserve a break, right? Of course you do. Remember, training and working out doesn't have to be agony 24-7. Your body needs rest. It needs fuel. And sometimes it just needs a burger. Taking a moment and taking a break, I think is super important. And it's something that I just recently learned to do. You got to refuel. You got to rest. You got to reset. And Jordan's choice for a cheat meal is Whataburger. According to Corey, he gets a piece of everything on his burger. Like he'll get a double cheeseburger and then have them put some extra bacon on it and keep adding stuff until it's falling over. He's a huge foodie and he loves to eat. And when you train and work as hard as he does, you deserve a cheat meal once in a while. In a way, he's like The Rock, always the hardest working guy in the room, but also the biggest eater in the room. And that's all I have for this video. I'll see you in the next one. You know what? I'm gonna cheer you up, because today's gonna be your lucky day. Christmas just came early for you, because I'm gonna hold the bag, lucky guy. Ah, you look. How's that? So I'm gonna let you hold the bag for me. Yo.